Hi everyone, this is Anna Finch from Finch Press Publishing. Today's video is actually a book review um, of My Grammar and I by Caroline Taggart and J.A. Wines. Now, this is a non-fiction text. It's in the same series as the geography book that I reviewed. So I actually like the geography book. I actually bought this and the activity book as a teacher reference. Um, because a student that I was tutoring, this was a few years ago, um, a student that I was tutoring uh, needed a lot more help for grammar and I needed some activities and some a bit more information about the grammar rules um, that I could use to help support what I was actually teaching to help her improve it. Now, while I do already know the grammar rules as an English teacher, um, I felt I needed to refresh it because I know it and I know how to apply it but explaining it particularly when I first bought this was actually fairly difficult because even though I'm an English teacher I am not English language trained. English language is more about the nuances of language and about the grammar side of language and the syntax and things like that. That is not my area. My area is more literature based. So even though I teach English, this is mainstream English, and cover things like grammar rules and sentence structure, it's not the main focus of the English curriculum. So I needed, I felt I needed to refresh the my knowledge of this. So I bought this in the activity book. So let's I'm gonna split this into two, I'm gonna consider these as two separate books, even though they're connected. I'll basically start with the information book. So this is like a textbook. Okay. The book is well written. So it's written in a way that clearly explains um, each grammar and punctuation um, strategy or each grammar and punctuation rule. And it explains it well. It's fairly clear. It's easy to understand and easy to follow along. A person in the middle years, so someone who's grade 6 up to grade 9, could read this and understand it. The language is accessible for most people in Australia and most people around the world who speak English. Um, even if English is not your first language, it's still easy to understand and follow along. It's still fairly clear. Now, there may be some words and phrases in here that are not used in daily language, but with things like Google, you can actually find out that information if you don't know it. Or you can ask, if you're a student, you can ask your teacher. The headings used are actually, they're attention grabbing, so it's interesting for students. The titles themselves are fairly attention grabbing, which is good for an actual text for students. If the book is not engaging or doesn't grab the attention, the students will not be engaged. Be more disruptive um, when it comes to having to use a text. Now, it's engaging from start to finish. I actually enjoyed reading it. Um, I read it in about two, three hours. Um, a lot of the information is relevant to a lot of people, so teachers, learners, writers. Um, the book can give a lot of information that you can use to help edit your novel um, or writing in general. Now, I originally bought this for um, learning it to help teach or help assist my the student that I was tutoring, but I reread it recently in order to help me edit my novel so I knew what to pick up on. Um, and it actually worked. I found when I after I reread the rules, refreshed it, I actually found some of the mistakes that I made connected to those rules and I was able to fix it. So this one's fairly this one's really well. Now the activity book. Now this one I felt a little a little bit different about. So again I bought this to help students that I was tutoring. Um, so I was going to use activities from this. Now the activities in here are quizzes and they're quizzes only. So they may be set out slightly different, but they're still quizzes. They're connected to the information in the first book. 
all the activities are connected to a particular grammar rule or sentence rule or punctuation rule. So it's connected to the first book. So it's connected to the information book. Um, while the questions asked in the activity book are relevant to the grammar rules and they can help reinforce um, the grammar rules, personally, it's not the most effective tool. It's um, it's not engaging at all. The uh, Some of the quizzes, while the way they've written down the questions, are interesting. As a teaching device, it's not engaging. If I use this as a resource in my classroom in 2019, I guarantee practically if I printed out some of these quizzes and gave it to the students, I guarantee like 9 out of 10 of them would have scrap, scrunched it up and thrown it in the bin or drew on it or would have refused to even take it. So, and I've taught English. Activities like this, the way it's set out, are not engaging. One or two quizzes among a couple of other activities are fine and they can be used effectively. But the whole book is just quizzes. There are no fun activities, there are no um, strategies for using the particular um, activity that to make it more engaging it's straight up just quizzes they tell you a little bit about a particular thing um, so for example shall I compare the similes and metaphors so you've got a short description of what similes and metaphors are and what the difference is okay and the quiz is basically um, spot which are the following are similes and which are the metaphors. Basically, circle or um, write the letter S or M next to the one you think is a simile, one you think is a metaphor. That is it. And you look at the next one, which is about metaphors. It's basically a quiz. You're just matching the start of the sentence with the end of it. And it's the, all the other activities are practically the exact same. Either you're matching something or you're writing something so like to be and you've got so this is for to be like irregular verbs you've got to be and you've got I you he, he she it which is in one section we you they and you write the present past participle it's very dry some of these quizzes could be used and can be used effectively but if this was put on a book list it would not work not for students, not for students who are engaged, who are disengaged with learning. Um, it's very dry. Things like games, like actual games and competitions, um, Coots quizzes, can, oh, again, which are still quizzes, can work because it's a competition and it's not on a worksheet, so they're more effective. And attention grabbing because you can put videos, you can put music, you can put a little clip from a song. And say and write this, and then have you have played the clip, and you've got a sentence, and you write the sentence there. Is this a metaphor or a simile? They're listening to something more interesting. They're still applying a particular skill, but it's more engaging. Giving something like this, this was on a book list. Giving something like this to students, their behaviour, especially if you've got at-risk students or if you've got students with behaviour issues. Or if you've got students who are disengaged from this learning in general, this would not engage them at all. If this was the only thing they were exposed to for grammar, they would not be engaged in learning grammar. Um, it would cause a lot more behaviour issues, so I wouldn't recommend this as a textbook for students. So, for the information book, I would give it a 9 out of 10. It is engaging, it's written in a way that is easier to follow, it's suitable as a reference for teachers in order that you can use to help create more engaging um, lessons surrounding grammar. Um, it can also be used for learners who want to improve this area of writing, mostly VC and senior students, they're the ones I can see reading this. Um, with the activity book though, so with this one, uh, I would give it 4 out of 10 as a teacher resource in schools. The activities themselves can be used to reinforce the students' understanding of the rules for grammar, 
the very dry and would be extremely boring for junior and middle years students, so prep to nine. It's an okay book for senior students if they choose to read it to improve their own writing, um, but overall the activity book is fairly dry. I do not recommend it as a resource for teachers if they have access to it and they want to use some of the activities, great, but I wouldn't recommend going out and buying this solely as a teacher reference. Um, to reinforce it, yeah, but it's fairly dry. So I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you've got students who have behaviour issues. Um, so that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed it and you found this helpful, um, especially if you were looking for books to do with grammar um, or if you were looking to improve your own English language skills. I plan on uploading at least two videos a week, so if you want to be notified of when I upload, please press the subscribe button below. Um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and thank you for listening. See you soon.